All right, today we're going to create a simple program today, which is the word count program. Um, it's pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is work with the uh, buffer reader API. We'll work with the standard M to grab our uh, arguments, use file, and we'll use formatting to format some parameters at the output. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're going to want to do is grab our arguments. So if we look at the standard environment uh, library here, we can look at args by calling, let's see, standard m, ah, there we go, standard m args, right? So let's go ahead and do that, args. Args. I'm going to skip the first one. Um, and in case you just want to see what that looks like, All right, so we have our word count arguments. So let's skip that first one. That should give us the file names we want. So now we're working with those. And we're just going to iterate over those arguments. Now we need to use the file reader, the buff reader. So we're going to do that by saying f equals File, go ahead and import standard FS file. Open, use that arg. And for now, I'm not going to worry too much about um, the output error here. I'll allow that. Right. Okay. And then we need to create a new reader. Right. And now we're going to use the readers. Lines function. Okay. So that's since that's in the buff read trait, buffer reader implements that trait. Uh, in order to have actually access it, uh, you'll need to actually import it up here as well. Lines. Now we're just going to match that line. And here. I don't worry too much about that. Okay. So now that we have our line, we can actually call. So we got our line. So lines. Each line is a string. So. I'm just going to split over that white space. I'm going to grab the count. And we need to actually declare some variables up here. So that'll be word count, line count, byte count. Right? Word count is that. Byte count. And I'm increasing by one for the uh, line terminator. All right, so we have that. So we got our args. So at this point, we can even just print out. The 
arguments. Right? Cargo run. Oh. Okay, great. So a few things we can do to improve this. On standard formatting, uh, if you look at the standard library format index, it talks a little bit about how you can pass in parameters, uh, format the values, use the debug formatting. So instead of doing it this way, we can actually say LC here, WC here, BC, arg. Right, that'll give us the same result. Uh, we can do one better and use the width parameter to give it a little bit nicer formatting. So I'm saying I need a little bit minimum eight, seven, seven, seven. And that should make it look a little bit better. All right. Uh, one thing we don't have is, so let's say we do cargo.block. So maybe we want to show the total. Right. And then at this point, total word count, total line count, total byte count. And then down here, I'm actually going to store right. And I'll just do the same thing here. Okay, great. So do that. Now we have a total. Uh, one last thing we can do is maybe instead of doing a split white space being our line count, maybe we can actually use like a hash map. So so we're going to do that. Right. And then maybe here we say for you know that split white space. Import that. So hash map is going to be imported from collections dot hash map. I'm going to use the entry API for the word. And then we're going to call dot or insert count of zero. This is already mutable. So let's update that value. By one. Now that we have that, we can actually say instead of split weight space dot count, we'll say word counts. So we won't do it at this point. We'll do it after we're done with all of the lines. Right. And we'll say word counts keys that count. Okay, great. that. All right, so we're running into a borrow checker issue here. Um, one thing that we forgot to do is W is actually borrowed. So if we actually just two string that, 
that will solve that. And now we'll run this again. It reduces our word count just a little bit. Uh, just because now we have a little bit unique characters. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the workout. Pretty simple program. Got to use a few different APIs, a file reader, buffer reader, uh, the lines. Um, highly recommend checking out this standard format uh, page here. You can kind of do a lot for fills, alignments, signs, um, precisions, tons of stuff. So this is definitely a good, good find. Uh, localization, escaping, etc. Uh, there's actually also a library that I didn't get into, uh, Crate, called Clap. Uh, so this Crate's a good one if you want to create uh, custom arguments and kind of build your own uh, app library with flags and all that stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one.